the top. <sighs> it is. I got Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another unboxing video. I have two packages, but one of them has four books in them, the other one has one, so total of five books. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is from an author that I won their giveaway on Twitter, but I'm actually so excited about it because we heard about this book from HarperCollins, the Frenzy Presents thing that I went to this year, and I'm like really excited about it because it was advertised as The Magicians meets Fight Club, so... I mean, it sounds pretty good to me, but it's called The Beckoning Shadow and it's by Catherine Blair. It also came with a note, which I'm going to guess that it just says like, congratulations on winning. I'll read it later. It's about a girl named Vesper who has the ability to take people's fears and like make them a reality. She ends up getting a spot in a tournament where you can win the chance to undo the past and she really wants this prize. It looks like she also has purple hair so I'm into it but I'm really excited about this. When we heard about it at Frenzy I really wanted a copy of it, didn't get it, but now I have it so thank you so much to Catherine for sending it my way. And then the next package I have is from Simon & Schuster and I love these packages. They call them the Thriller Chronicles and each one has like a newspaper article that goes along with whatever book is inside and it's somehow connected to it. I think it's such a cool concept and you know your girl is a huge fan of thrillers so every time these come in the mail I get really excited. So this time they sent me four. The first one I actually think I know what the book is because they sent me an arc of it. Usually these are finished copies. I don't know if that's the case this time. It says Little Port Heiress, Death Ruled as Suicide, Investigation Closed. Okay, so it is The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. This takes place in Little Port, Maine where the locals and the tourists never really become friends. But this is not the case for Sadie and Avery. They end up becoming very good friends but then one day Sadie ends up dead and it's deemed a suicide but Avery is not convinced that this is the case. Avery is determined to figure out what actually happened to Sadie and she decides to start asking around and she quickly realizes that people know a little bit more than they're saying they do and it's the story of that. I think this one sounds really cool. I was really excited when they sent me the arc so now I have the finished copy so now this is like the biggest push to read it. They're like seriously we're gonna keep sending you this book until you read it, so it's gonna happen eventually. The next one that I have says, Memorial Service for Local Camp Owners. I have no idea what this one is. I always like guessing what the books are because I follow them on Twitter, so I always see them like posting about different books and I try to guess which one it is, but I don't know if they've posted about this one because I have Oh no, I think. Oh, I think I know which one it is. I think it's I'll Never Let You Go, but which was also on my most anticipated list. Oh, it is. I got the title wrong, but it's the one that I was thinking of. It's called I'll Never Tell You by Katherine McKenzie, which was on my most anticipated releases for June 2019. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So this is basically about a girl named Amanda who was bludgeoned to death earlier, like 20 years, I think, something like that. But basically, the case was never solved and then the four siblings that live on this campsite, their parents die and they're given the estate, but they're also given a letter that says they need to solve the murder of Amanda before anything can happen with the money in the estate. So it's like the story of figuring out who can trust who, who killed Amanda, what happened. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this one. I was like dying to read it and now I have it. It's a sign. Okay, so the next one says, Celebrity marriage counselor Miles Merkel missing, presumed dead after Hurricane Pummel's Mayan Rivera. I honestly have no idea what this one could be, so this is a surprise to both of us. Oh, oh, I actually do know this one, but I don't know what it's about, so I'm just going to, um quickly read this and then I'll let you guys know what it's about. So this is about a couple's resort where Miles Markell and Grace Markell work as doctors who appear to be the perfect power couple and they run couple therapy. A bunch of couples come to the resort trying to fix their problems. A hurricane ends up blowing through the resort, trapping the hosts and the clients in one place where secrets are revealed. Shit happens. 
Dun dun dun. And it's basically the story of like figuring out who can they trust again, that kind of thing. Thriller. We love it. And then the final one that we have says annual memorial held for victims of cult slaying. And um, we love cults in this house. So I'm excited about this one. This is another one. I have no idea what it could be. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I've seen this one as well. So it's Your Life is Mine by Nathan Ripley. I actually read their other book, their debut thriller a while ago last February because I was in Vegas when I read it. This is one that I actually requested and they said they, they couldn't send it to me because too many people were asking for it so they tricked me again. They do this every single time Simon and Schuster but also thank you. This follows a woman named Blanche whose father was a notorious cult leader who she actually distanced herself from a very long time ago when he went on a shooting spree and then turned the gun on himself so she wants nothing to do with that narrative you know and then she gets a call saying that her mother is murdered and she has to return to her hometown and deal with that so when she gets there a detective takes a very special interest on her family and it's the story of all of that jazz she is convinced that her mother's murder is just the cult's way of starting a new chapter but then another killing occurs and it's like that story so i'm excited about this i love cult stories which you know sounds creepy but we should be used to this on this channel, but I'm excited for this one as well. Alright guys, so that was my unboxing for this time around. Thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me these four books and Catherine for sending me her book. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!